హలో టెకీస్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు అవర్ ఛానల్ యూ ఐ పాక్ బై సుజిత వెన్ యూ ఆర్ వర్కింగ్ విత్ ఏపిఐస్ దట్ టూ ఎస్పెషల్లీ ఆన్ షేర్ పాయింట్ ఏపిఐస్ హ్యావ్ యూ ఎవర్ ఎన్కౌంటర్డ్ దిస్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్సెప్షన్ విచ్ ఈస్ రిలేటెడ్ టు ఈ ట్యాగ్ వెరీ న్యూ ఫర్ మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ యూ పీపుల్ మేబీ దిస్ వర్డ్ ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ ఇస్ అ న్యూ థింగ్ రైట్ సో లెట్ ఎస్ డిస్కస్ ఆన్ దస్ error message and let us find a solution in order to fix this error okay so the error message says the request e tag value does not match the object's tag value fine yeah so before finding the solution i always prefer to understand what the system says what does it mean like what what is this e tag and what it is searching for okay so in general terms if you read this you will come to know that the request e tag value some empty does not match the object's e tag value it will give some value here okay yeah okay so it is looking for some value but it is not matching with the correct value i mean the existing value fine so when we uh, first of all when we are going to get this kind of exception so whenever we use when we try to update a value in share point using api right very clear so whenever you are working on share point apis and that too with the post i mean patch post or patch or put when whenever you are updating the existing item value in the share point using apis then you are facing this issue okay you might have uh, given the right uh, uh, authentication token uh, everything seems to be good and you might have given the item number where to update and all but still you receive this kind of exception just because of one reason i let you know what is this so before that let us see what is this exactly what is this e tag what is e tag then you will come to know the importance in giving this okay share point uses the e tag header to ensure that when you update an item you are updating the latest version of an item what does this mean so we will be giving uh, the item number also right in the api when you are uh, patching or updating i mean using a post or patch type of uh, request you will be giving the item number say, say say for example first item third item 100 third item this way but it will look for an e tag header to make sure that the item whatever you are going to update is updating on the latest version of item why this is to prevent from making changes to an item that has been modified since you last read it got it so it it will always look for the e tag header just to make sure that you are updating the latest version of item because there are a ch- there is a chance that you made the changes and uh, i mean since you last uh, read it there is a chance that uh, some some uh, modification been been done uh on top of it right so that is the reason as a second check it will go with the e tag header okay now how to resolve how to fix this issue now you can guess right so it is looking for an e tag header okay now when when you when it is looking for a e tag header and it is searching for some value which which should be 
uh, equivalent to the original values i mean uh, objects e tag value then it is very clear can anyone guess how to fix this yes you are right it is very simple that you are supposed to pass the e tag value which should match with this original value okay just pass e tag value in the header post or patch request okay yeah now how to get this e tag value is the question mark find sujita i'll i'll pass one more header in my post or patch request when when i am going to use sharepoint api but can you give me the e tag value that's the question mark right so i'll let you know how to get this e tag value number 1 get item data using get request okay when you are going to update or making any changes on the item uh, in sharepoint maybe you will definitely use your get request right get item data right so where you will find e tag header in response okay so copy this e tag header value from get request pass this e tag value in patch request okay in header of the okay but what should be the name of the header it should be if match okay if match is the header name okay so you are supposed to pass this way if match the value is the e tag value okay i'll i'll show you how to do this okay so for that i have open my postman tool where i am receiving this error message if you see this output the request e tag value does not match the object's e tag value so it is looking for this object value okay now what i am going to do i am searching for the headers right i have given all the authentication token everything but still i am receiving this error right so in order to fix this what i am going to do i am going to get the data first in get response headers i'll get e tag value and i'm going to copy that and paste it here as if match okay let me try to do this for you now see this is my get request where i'm getting some data of this particular item go to headers this is my response right so go to headers and just scroll up you will see something called e tag in headers response headers okay copy this value and then go to your post or patch request this is my patch request where i want to update some value okay go to headers of this request and type if match okay if match and pass that value over here that's it so success i hope you understood the reason behind 
this kind of exception and what is the meaning of e tag and why need why we why it is expecting a e tag and how to fix this issue step by step so that's the agenda of this video meet you through our next videos until then please keep watching our videos happy learning and happy automating bye bye